for this continuous variation, for the phenotype section, you want to write is few and distinct phenotypes. Then how about continuous? I'm going to have a range of all of this, many intermediate. How about environment effects for this continuous? Does it affect? So it's going to be no, okay? Then how about for continuous? It's going to be yes. So for this continuous, the number of genes that is going to be involved is that this one gene is the one that is going to be determining it. So for example, if I'm going to have this thing called the tongue rolling gene, if I have TT, it means I can only have these few genes that can either code for. Yes, for the continuous, I'm going to have many that is going to have this addictive effect. So what is this addictive effect? When I add up everything together, example, uh, all of this will contribute to something. Because I fall tall, that tells me I'm going to be tall. And two shots. This person's height is going to be above average. So this is like an adding up effect together. So I'm going to give you an analogy, okay? This bubble tea, right? How sweet the bubble tea is, is going to be the trait in which this sweetness is going to be determined by many factors or like in other words, your genes. What are the things that can affect your bubble tea sweetness? Number one, your milk, honey, sugar, or pulse. In my case, right, I will say that I will choose milk. I'm not going to choose honey and I'm not going to put any sugar. Pulse, right, it will contribute to the sweetness because it has the syrup that is added to it. So if I'm going to have two yes and two no's, overall, it's going to be fairly sweet, right? So two vote for yes, two vote for no, mere sweetness. 